So those of you who, who've been listening to the series on uh, this Dr. Heim Beinart, he's really a specialist in what happened to the Jews in Spain. It's one of the greatest, great tragedies of the existence of the Jewish people, of course. Sephardic Jews are alive and well. We survived it, but it was a very bitter, bitter, bad time. Now, the thing to understand about Spain is, is that as we come to Spain, it seems like, from what we're going to hear, is, is that we begin in the Muslim Spain area, in Muslim Spain. And so the colored area, this this dark area here, uh, is the area controlled by the Muslims. But up above that, in Barcelona, Barcelona, and Aragon, and other places, in Navarre, uh, these places were not conquered by the Muslims, but in fact they became Christian saw strongholds and we're going to see this as part of the pattern in which we have to live. Now I see over here in this map, so so we're seeing all of this area which really is the great cities of Cordoba, it's right here, and then uh, later Toledo, which we're not talking about apparently not quite yet, and then also great city Granada, all of these areas around the coast Okay, all of this was conquered by the Muslims. And now we're going to go into here, it says in the year 912. Now, maybe you could make it bigger on your screen, but try to get it in perspective. I'm just going to read it like this. It said, Abu al-Rahman unites central and southern Spain. So here we have the middle of Spain, and here we have the number one. That's the way he shows it, I think. So he says, and then what else does he say? He says 929, this is the, so we're in the, in the 10th century, founds Cordoba, the caliphate. There's a caliphate here in this central place called Cordoba. There's a river there called the Guadalquivir. I'm not sure exactly how the rivers work or what's going on over there, but this is a little section that he founds a caliphate there. Okay, number two. Number two is right here next to Cordoba. There's a man, and you have to listen to these Jewish names. He says, Histai ibn Shaprut. He's appointed physician to the caliph, director of customs and diplomatic emissary, and served caliph al-Hakim. So we have these names, these different names going back and forth. Now, number three, where is number three? It's right over here, same area in the Cordoba area. Number three, let's find it here. So it says, Histai established spiritual center for Spanish Jews and yeshiva headed by Moses ben Hanukh, supports scholars, poets, including, so this is also the bent of the Sephardic Jews is towards the concept of poetry, including lexicographer Menachem Ibn Saruk. Now, this name Saruk appears later on uh, with the uh, follower of the uh, student uh, of the Ria Kodesh, and linguist Dunash ben Lebrat, so these names very important. So Labrat, I guess it's Labrat. So let's go number number four. So let's see where we're at. So we're still around in this area, number four in the Cordoba area. It says death of Moses ben Hanno causes a factional dispute on succession to rabbinical seat of Cordoba between his son Hanno and Joseph or Yosef ibn Abitur, Abitur, student of Yeshiva. So there was a machlokas, anything new about that. But Histai supports Hanukh, and Hanukh is elected. Now you see how this, um, you had like a head, head, a head rabbinate here, uh, and control, I guess, all of the Jewish interests uh, at that time. Now let's find number five is over here, still in the Cordoba area. He says, in the year 993, now we're really, really close to the 11th century, he said, Rabbi, Rabbi Shmuel Halevi Ibn Narelo, so also known as Shmuel Anagid, born in Cordoba, is born there. This is a famous name also. Names that I've heard maybe, but not really familiar with their work. In the year, it's not popular now at all. 1013, the year 1013, now we move to the 11th century, and here we are on number uh, six. Where is six? It's right in here. Uh, all of this area. So you see, this is the area where the Jew, where Jewish life is really uh, the most pronounced at this time. Suleiman attacks Cordoba, 
cultural center destroyed, and the caliphate disintegrates. So, we live through this. The Gentiles are murdering each other, fighting for land. Number seven. Where's number seven? Over here. Moving along. Number seven, many Jews flee from Granada. So here's Granada now. So here's the city of Granada. Write this name right in here. Granada is this area also. He says again, many Jews see the, uh, and the new center of, of Jewish Ju uh, Judaism is established there. Number eight. Where is eight? Eight is down here. He says, Rabbi Shmuel Halevi flees from Cordoba to Malaga. Malaga is a place, of course, there's, there's, uh, there's a wine called Malaga. Uh, he says, uh, this is on a port. This is a port, so Jews flee over there. Uh, number nine, let me find number nine, here we go. Number nine down here, 1027, now, moving into the deeper into the 11th century. Shmuel appointed by King Habuz Berba. So he says Samuel. Shmuel was that Berber ruler of Granada. So Granada was ruled by Berbers. Now the Berbers are different nationality than the than the Arabs. So he says. So he says Berber rule of ruler of, uh, of Granada as vizier. He holds a position during the reign of Badis, son of Habuz. So these are different names that we just have to plug into this Berber dynasty. Jews appoint him Nagid. So they take this man, this, uh, let me, let me read it again. Samuel appointed by the king Habos as vizier. So then the uh, son, so he goes through the, the names of the Berbers. And then he says, Jews appoint him Nagid, the leader of Spanish Jewry. That's the year 1027. Now moving along one more here, we're going to go to number 10. Number 10 says, uh, where is number 10? 10 is going to be uh, right there in Granada. Shmuel Hanagid, succeeded by his son, Yehosef, Yo Yo who was murdered in 1066. Nice times. Many Jews killed and many flee. Well, that's it. That's, where, that's our look right now at Muslim Spain. The next time we come back to this, we'll be looking at really uh, more filling out some of the ideas and uh, of what we've what we seen now, some of the names, some of the things that are going on. Uh, this is a very special, special edition here right now. This is Baruch Fleischmann, Tigun Elevator Kolel.